Here we have a cell. The green stuff are the ribosomes, and the blue stuff are the chromosomes. And today we are going to learn about how a cell goes from genes to proteins. This process contains two phases. First, transcription, which is from DNA to RNA. Second, we have translation, which is from RNA. It all starts in the nucleus, where we have the nucleolus and the chromosomes. And that, that's the enzyme. First, here's the strand of DNA. If you look close enough, you can see the nitrogenous bases, which contains the genetic code. These bases form in pairs. A and T always pair together, and G and C always pair together. Then, the enzyme comes along and starts to unwind the DNA and produces another molecule at the same time. This molecule is called mRNA, which stands for messenger ribonucleic acid. This mRNA is constructed from only one half of the DNA, carrying the genetic code from the gene. However, this time, the T is replaced with U. Now, the mRNA carries the genetic code out of the nucleus to a ribosome in the cytoplasm. As it fits itself onto a ribosome, things like this come along. They are called tRNA, which stands for transfer ribonucleic acid. Now, every tNA carries one of these little blocks of proteins called amino acid. This tRNA then reads and attach themselves to the mRNA in sets of three, or as some people call it, codons. Now, once a tRNA is attached to a mRNA, the amino acid will be attached to the neighboring amino acid, and a strand of amino acid forms protein. And here's some examples of proteins. I hope you like this video. It turns out that each triplet of basis on the messenger RNA, called a codon, corresponds to a particular amino acid. Now there has to be a chemical connection between each triplet codon and each amino acid. A special adapter molecule called transfer RNA makes that connection. One end of the adapter carries a particular triplet of basis called an anticodon. This matches up with a specific triplet codon on the messenger RNA. The other end of the transfer RNA is capable of binding to the unique amino acid corresponding to that anticodon. Since there are 20 amino acids, there must be at least 20 different transfer RNA adapters. So, for a protein chain to be assembled, each triplet codon on the message is read. The transfer RNA adapter with the relevant anticodon binds the messenger. The amino acids at the other end of the transfer RNA adapters become joined by a peptide bond. Once a transfer RNA molecule is no longer needed, it's released. The process repeats, elongating the peptide chain until a stop codon is reached. When the days are cold and the cards are folding, the saints we see are all made of.